I get called sweetie a lot. I get winked at at work. Um, not in like a really obvious way, but just sometimes people walking by, like instead of just saying hello, it'll be like a little wink. And this is an issue that needs to be addressed because... Because I'm like the little, little admin sitting at the desk and I just, I think that has a lot to do with the fact that I'm a girl. OVI, we're the ladies. What the heck is the OVI? We're still making less than men in the workplace. Oh great, this fucking argument. I hate to borrow somebody else's video in order to describe my argument, but here it is. The wage gap is simply the average earnings of men and women working full time. It does not count for different job positions, hours worked, or different jobs. It has nothing to do with the same job. It has nothing to do with discrimination. And we're still like... You can't go for a walk at night alone because you're scared something might happen. You have to be careful of your surroundings, regardless of your gender. Death doesn't discriminate. There's still unrealistic expectations for women to look a certain way. No such thing as a unrealistic body. Seriously. Society doesn't really expect you to become a fucking supermodel. And, you know, those models, those supermodels, are not impossible to get. Sure, it might be difficult for some of you, but it's not impossible to get, and it's not unrealistic. Seriously, all you have to do is, you know, lose some weight by uh, working out and, of course, dieting. That don't exist for men. I think that I still can't walk down the street without someone harassing me, but if I walk down the street with my boyfriend, it's totally different because men respect the fact that there's another man by me, but they don't respect if I'm alone. You know how street harassment works for feminists. Even if you compliment them nicely, it's considered to be street harassment. So I find it rather hard to believe that this person is getting street harassment unless, of course, she's talking about the kind of street harassment that feminists love to bring up. Women aren't as visible in the media in like real ways. I have a shit ton of movies! I can tell from experience that you're just a fucking idiot! And don't get as much credit for movies that they make and books that they- K. Rowling, I rest my case. They write. In a lot of situations, it seems like there's one role for a certain type of, of girl, and sometimes it feels like somehow this room hasn't made space for both of us. What the fuck are you even talking about? There's a mass diversity of personality when it comes to women. For example, they're the strong, independent type, the one who's completely fucking badass, there's the ones who are completely fragile, the ones who are shy, the ones who are outgoing and adventurous. Those type of women exist in films and in, 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 in fucking cartoons especially. You know, when women are trying to talk, I feel like a lot of the time they get cut, cut off before they're finished talking and I don't know if men are more used to doing it to women or if women just don't say anything when they're interrupted. Come on, we all know that this is just about mansplaining. You know, how dare you interrupt me, a woman, a woman of color, how dare you interrupt me, you evil man? A lot of the time like that they're sort of conditioned to not say like, hey, no, I want to finish what I was saying. Everybody is connected to this. When feminism started, women were fighting for these intense, like basic human rights. They wanted to be able to work and get educated. They wanted to be able to vote and things that, you know, like seemed so inherent, like just so, such basic rights for a person. But that was back then. Back then, women were truly are fucking oppressed. Here, it's just fucking redundant. We no longer need the Underground Railroad to flee black people because black people are already free. So if we were to, quote unquote, recreate the Underground Railroad, well guess what? It'd be fucking redundant and pointless in the same sense of feminism. And maybe now, like, what we're looking for is something smaller than that. And then I sat back again and reflected on what I was just thinking and realized that, like, expecting to be able to go to school and be protected from sexual assault and to know that people are going to give a shit if it happens to you and take action even if he's a star football player. One of the articles involves Mattress Girl, the one who lied about being raped. And yet people like her still believe her story because she's a woman and we have to believe her. Fuck all the counter evidence. And the funny thing 
thing is, is that if you're accused of being raped, of, you know, being a rapist, then your life is fucking ruined, even if you're proven to be fucking innocent. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Way to go to spread more false information. Like being able to be paid as much as a man, those are basic human rights too. Again, I have to bring up Sean Head. The wage gap is simply the average earnings of men and women working full time. It does not count for different job positions, hours worked, or different jobs. It has nothing to do with the same job. It has nothing to do with discrimination. Now it's like you're going to school and it's like, I'm working towards something, and if I'm not going to get paid the amount I deserve or treated the amount I deserve, like, respect in the workplace, and what am I doing? Like, this isn't fair. Once more, I have to present this again. The wage gap is simply the average earnings of men and women working full time. It does not count for different job positions, hours worked, or different jobs. It has nothing to do with the same job. It has nothing to do with discrimination. Why am I unable to walk, you know, four blocks without getting harassed? Why do I have to- Oh, I complimented me on my looks! I'm being harassed! Be worried when I put on shorts to go to school. Like, how ridiculous is this? Sure, you can go to college, but if you get raped, it's your own damn fault. No one is saying that. Sure, there are times that you have to take some form of responsibility of being raped, because there are times where you could have prevent the rape. But other than that, no one else is saying that. Like, no, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Like, you can get kicked out of college in an instant for plagiarizing, but if you're accused of rape, it takes you know, you, the person that's accusing you has to give an arm and a leg and go through so much trauma. We can't just put the so-called rapist in jail if the only evidence there is is just your fucking word. Just to even get them to think about it. Just because she didn't say it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Um, yeah, they're pretty much saying that even if she didn't say that she didn't get raped, she probably got raped. Every one of the women that are close to me have been violated either physically or emotionally, like seriously, in a way that's completely based upon their gender. Be possible. Emotionally, that depends on how you define it. Because emotional abuse can range from um, being told that you're, you know, completely fucking worthless to, you know, just being flat out heartbroken. You know, being cheated on. So, it all depends on what you define as emotional abuse. And so it's like, thanks for granting us this basic human right and not protecting us at all. Perhaps you should take some karate lessons, you know, for self-defense. Inequality and misogyny just sort of seeps into how we learn how to be people, how we learn how to relate to each other um, and live our lives. Please blame all your evils on the imaginary patriarchy. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer, and keep gaming.